58 was the last time Wales qualified for a major championships and the waiting might end tonight while all ears will be on Italy's progress against Azerbaijan and few Welshmen are expecting a miracle there Wales have to do themselves a favour by beating a Serbia and Montenegro side who are revitalised under new coach Ilya Petkovic Wales are without Davis, Page, Savage and Johnson, they're all injured, while Jason Kumas is suspended. So Carl Robinson's recalled for only his second start of the campaign. Sinisa Mihailovic has pulled out of the Serbia squad for personal reasons, one of six big-name absentees. So it's a much-changed side and includes uncapped Red Star Belgrade defender Dragan Sarac. Mark Hughesman picked up 12 points in the first four games, only one point from the next three. Can the much-shuffled Welsh squad end their campaign on high? and play themselves back into form ahead of a likely playoff. Serbia and Montenegro in all white, kicking from left to right in this first half. The Serbians certainly would have expected when the draw was made that it would have been they rather than Wales who needed something from this last game. And such has been the resurgence under Mark Hughes. And it is the men from the Principality that are in that position. Challenged by Danny Gavidon, who you would expect to be a Welsh international for the next 10 years or so. He's recently been linked with moves to both Newcastle and Arsenal. Kovacevic, the Real Sociedad striker, wins a free kick. Kovacevic captaining Serbia and Montenegro today, brought down by Rhys Weston. Paul Jones on his line, it's Vukic that swings it in! And he scores! Jones beaten at his near post and Serbia and Montenegro have the lead inside the opening five minutes or so. Zvonimir Vukic scores his first goal for his country. A player with a very bright future ahead of him. Recently moved to Ukrainian football with Shakhtar Donetsk. And he's embarrassed the Welsh goalkeeper very early on, much to the delight of Ilya Pekovic. Weston, good play by the former Arsenal trainee, and he's got a wonderful return ball from Rob Earnshaw. Good strike from Weston. Hardly a prolific player, even at club level, but he tested Dragoslav Jevric there. Good play by the Cardiff combination of Earnshaw and Weston. Darren Barnard's corner. Speed with a header. And he would have expected to do better. One of his trademark late runs inside the penalty area from a set piece. No joy for the Wales captain, winning his 76th cap tonight. One of the most experienced Welsh internationals of all time now, Gary Speed. Good play by Earnshaw. And a wonderful season at club level. Here's Giggs. Good pass by Giggs. Great dummy by Earnshaw. Hardson just unable to set the seal on a wonderful move. The best passing football of the game. John Hartson, who scored three goals in this qualification group. Close to making it number four. What a move. Great dummy from Earnshaw. Hartson not quite there. Barnard, just over Hartson, the referee's given a penalty. Fritz Stuckley, in no doubt at all that there was a push on John Hartson. And Wales' domination of the last 15 minutes is rewarded with a spot kick. Gavranic in the book. Will Hartson himself be on the score sheet? Good penalty, 1-1. Hit with power and conviction. The direction was good enough. And Wales are back on level terms. Fourth goal of the campaign for John Hartson. And the Celtic striker has eased the nerves considerably. Mladenovic. Good header. Wonderful cross. 
beaten away by Jones, who saw the ball come to him at a ni nice height. He's recently been replaced as the number one goalkeeper at Southampton. And is on his way from there. But he did very well to produce a sharp reaction, stopped to deny Branko Boscovic. Robinson, but he got away with that, and Wales can build again with Ryan Giggs on his right flank, and he's won a corner. It's here by Dynamo Kiev defender Gavrincic. No doubt that speed will be one of the targets again. Venomous strike as it comes back in from Barnard. He's got a wonderful catalogue of goals with that left foot in his career, which has spanned the likes of Barnsley and Grimsby. In comes the corner from Giggs. Jevrich again commands his penalty area. And Barnard hasn't got such a good catalogue of goals with his right foot throughout his career. Hence the amusement from all on the Welsh bench. Vukic lets it run for Luboya. Now Vukic again. Milosevic on Fanny out of space and scores. And Serbia and Montenegro lead again inside the last 10 minutes. And that surely means that the Welsh aren't going to win that campaign with a victory. Carl Robinson just stepped off his man. Rob Edwards couldn't get the challenge in. And Savo Milosevic celebrates his 80th international appearance with the first goal of his qualification campaign. Vukic. There's another good ball in, Luboya misses it, but then puts it away brilliantly in the second attempt. The Strasbourg striker seals the win. It's some way to end the campaign for the Serbs. If he met that first touch, it was inspired. The second certainly was. And the Welsh fans filing out, knowing that their men have been beaten. They've only picked up one point in the second half of this qualification campaign now. His gigs. And the header on, put in by Earnshaw. At least there's a consolation. Rob Earnshaw adds a little veneer of respectability to the scoreline. Speeds headed back into the fray and the smallest man on the pitch beats Jevrich to make it 2-3 with the last meaningful touch of the game. Wales know that they're in the playoffs. They still fight on. Serbia are out, but with reputation restored. Wales 2, Serbia and Montenegro 3. So Wales...